Nobody loves you, Ashton. In this video, I'll be breaking down how I made a hella sketchy type beat. And commonly in these beats, you can find like Purity, Electra X, and Nexus. The presets and Purity that I'm gonna show today, it's all gonna be on this preset bank that I created myself and sound designed myself. And it's gonna drop on my channel pretty soon. So make sure you check that out. And here's the first melody. So the first melody was kind of like a pad. It, it, it's kind of like a flute sounding one too. And moving on to the second melody. It's the same um, chord structure as the first one and make sure when you do this, you strum it and make sure you mess with the velocity just so everything it don't sound robotic and stiff. For this one, it's gonna be counter melody. Uh, make sure you put on your scale on here. So for the counter melodies, you can find a lot of flutes and a lot of purity leads in this type of sound. For this one specifically, you wanna do like a question and answer type response with the counter melodies. Yeah, just make sure that counter melodies aren't repetitive. And here's a piano sound. The piano right here have the same chord structure as all the previous melody and the only thing different is the counter melody. So you're basically layering and stacking it just so it creates a unique sound. And the last one is a Nexus sign pluck. So how I did this, you're basically going to arpeggiate some chords. So lay down some chords like this, highlight them. If you're going to do all of them um, on Windows, click Control A. What you do is Alt A, and then it's going to bring up an arpeggiator and play around with it. You don't want the range to be like six octaves because the number right here range is going to be how many octaves it's going to hit. So usually I do two or three. And then from here, play around with the time manipulation. Uh, you don't want to be crazy like this. You want a pattern like, like that. And gate is going to be how long the note's going to hold out for. This is going to be what the melody sounds like all together. And if you want to get like a similar sound and hella sketchy, he has a drum kit. Go cop it. It's really nice. Um, there's some sound presets, there's mixing presets, and there's a lot of really unique drum sounds to it. And to this day, I even use it. That was my first ever drum kit I ever bought. And here's a clap. We got some snares. Also some hi-hats. So here's the 808. Just follow the chord patterns and the melodies. We got cymbal, open hats, shaker,
And for the kick pattern, you want it to be following the 808s. Here's what this drum sounds like all together. So the first one I use the drip plugin. A lot of people um, clown on this plugin a lot because they see the ads everywhere. So when you use this plugin, uh, make sure the mix isn't at 100%. The mix right now is around 25%, and it gives a really nice sound to it. Added some delay, EQ, and I EQ to cut the high ends off. Second sound, we got effect rack. We got pan man on there, secret sauce. Uh, vintage verb, chorus, love filter, EQ. Just got parametric EQ, cut the low ends off of the flute. On the piano, I just boosted up the high mids. And the filter sign plug, cut off some of the low ends. So on my drum sounds, I don't have any of them mixed or any VSTs or plugins really. I only have one EQ on the 808 that's my breakdown on the beat and the style of hella sketchy i really hope you guys liked it um make sure you check out the rest of tanner ghost everyone in tanner ghost i find the videos really helpful and i actually use some of their technique and learn a lot from um the tutorials make sure you check out the rest of my youtube page make sure you follow me on instagram too my email is also down there in case any of you guys have any questions or just want to email me all right here's the beat Nobody loves you, Ashton.